Hi, this is Dr. Candace Silvola from Rustic Ranch Remedies. In today's video, I wanted to do an experiment using my new homogenizer by the company Miskio. Uh, the parent company is Dynamics. They are from uh, France. It's a French brand, and this is the homogenizer. So I'm going to be doing one of these emulsions using this homogenizer and the other one just stirring by hand. And I wanted to see the difference between stirring by hand and using a homogenizer with the exact same formula. This is the formula I'm gonna be using. It's the exact same formula for each of these emulsions. Um, in phase A, we have shea butter, safflower oil, and olive M1000, which is our emulsifier. Uh, the oil percentage is 20% with 5% uh, emulsifier. That is a four to one ratio of oil to emulsifier, which is a good range for all of M1000. It's recommended to use in a ratio of one to four or one to five of emulsifier to oil. And then we, the rest of it, which is 75% is water. I'm not using any additional ingredients in here. No preservative, no gums, no stabilizers, nothing. Just a very simple formula just to see what the difference is between stirring and using a homogenizer. And then this is um, my method of formulation. I am heating both phase A and B to 75 degrees Celsius, and then slowly trickling phase B into phase A. So slowly trickling the water into the oils. I'll be stirring both of those till the um, water is incorporated into the oil. And then the only difference is I'm going to homogenize one and then just continue stirring the other one. So here I have um, my oil phases and then my water phases behind. Both of my phases are at 75 degrees Celsius, so I will be pouring the water phase into the oil phase into, this is going to be my um, stirring experiment. This is, I labeled it as stir. So this one has cooled down to about 50 degrees and I can feel it just starting to thicken up just a little bit. It's getting a little bit more opaque white in color. I'm going to be putting this one off to the side as it continues to cool and I'm going to now work on the emulsion one. So I'm going to use the same method. I'm going to slowly pour the water into the oil phase. My homogenizer has an adjustment on the top for speed. I am going to put it down to two. It goes up to six. And then it's recommended to place it at an angle. going to move it up into four now. It's at four. Okay, that's a little bit much, so I'm going to move it down to three. Let's see how that works. It's a little aggressive still, so I'm going to go between two and three.
You can see there's no bubbles with this. When you use a standing mixer, there's a, it incorporates bubbles even if you try not to. And this is way more opaque than this emulsion, as you can see when I'm stirring it. So a few things that are really interesting about these two emulsions is that, and you can see this one was stir on the left and this one's homogenized on the right. Some of the differences is the homogenizing one. It is much more white and opaque. It has this like marshmallow, marshmallow cream kind of consistency. Um, it's already cooled down quite a bit more than um, the stirring side. Stirring side is at 47 degrees and the homogenizing side is at 46, even though the time in between making these was about 10 to 15 minutes. So this one was sitting out for 10 to 15 minutes before I started this one. And this was at 75 degrees when I started. So this, the homogenizing cooled this emulsion down much, qu uh, pretty quickly. And I don't see any physical bubbles in it, but can you see the volume size between these? As I tip them over to the side, you can see that the one for stirring has less volume than um, the one that I homogenized. Let's see, on the graduated side, so this one is, um, you know, 250, That's that was the batch size. And this one is up at around 300. So this, this increased in volume. I'm suspecting there's just air that's been incorporated into this emulsion. However, you cannot see bubbles. It's just completely homogenous. The, the homogenized one feels just like, just feels super creamy and luxurious. It looks luxurious. And this stirring one looks more jelly-like. It's not as thick. It's not as opaque. It's not as thick and creamy. The one that I homogenized is super creamy feeling just by stirring it. And as they cool down, they're just going to naturally thicken more. So right now I'm gonna allow these to uh, go to room temperature. They're still quite warm. And after they re reach room temperature, I'll check them again for consistency and show you that. And then I'll be placing a foil over the top overnight to be checking on how they are in the morning. It's been a few hours later and now the emulsions have reached room temperature. That's Fahrenheit. And one thing I noticed right away is that this one that we stirred is a little bit more opaque and it's a little thicker than it was before. It's nice and smooth. has a really nice texture to it. And here's the one that we homogenized. It's whiter in color. And it just feels more fluffier overall. Seems like it just has a more sophisticated, luxurious texture to it overall. Okay, I'm going to place a foil over the top and let it sit overnight and then we're gonna check them in the morning. It's the next day now and these emulsions have been sitting overnight and have reached their final consistency. The one that we stirred is nice and thick. 
It is a little bit more white than yesterday, I think. Thick, and even though we just stirred it, it is very smooth. The emulsion is uh, intact and stable, as far as I can tell. It has a slight glossy appearance to it. And then let's look at the homogenized one. It is definitely whiter than the stirred one. As you can see, this one looks a little bit more beige or yellow uh, tint to it, and this one is just pure white. It feels more fluffier than the stirred emulsion. It has a nice shine to it, more of a shine than uh, the stirred one, which is There is a difference in the viscosity that I can uh, feel and you can kind of see when it's being stirred. The emulsion is stable and it just feels lighter even though it's it still feels thick but it just feels like it's been whipped or something <laughs> in comparison. So I'm going to test both of these on the skin to see the skin feel. I'm going to place this one that we homogenized right here and the one that we stirred right here. The homogenized one has a really nice feel to it as it's being rubbed into the skin. It absorbs really nicely. I'm going to wipe off my hand and now I'm going to rub in the stirred one. This one as you can see I'm having a little tougher time actually rubbing this into the skin. The homogenized one feels more elegant, more like an elegant, luxurious emulsion. And this one uh, feels just fine, but it's taking longer to rub in. And it has a little bit of a different um, feel to it as you're rubbing it in the skin. It takes longer to rub the stirred one into the skin. This, the homogenized one just seems to absorb into the skin a lot easier. It has a nicer application. So overall, the homogenizer works fantastic. I'm really happy with it. I think it's going to lead to more stable emulsions, uh, a finer and more elegant feel to the skin. It's going to lead to a, um, a nicer end product. And I'm excited to try out more advanced formulations using the homogenizer and seeing how they turn out. I know this is definitely going to step up my formulation game and, and going to create just really fantastic, beautiful products. That's it for this video. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and, and if you have any questions, just leave them below in the comments and look at the description box for any additional information. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.